Okay, next lesson is still in quarter 3, week 2, milk number 4. In milk number 4, we're going to prove the midline theorem. This module was made to help you understand better the key concepts of midline theorem. It will serve as a guide for you to find out how to prove midline theorem. Number one, in triangle ABC, D and E are the midpoints and AB, line segment AB and line segment AC respectively. Complete the following statements. Okay, we have here the figure. Okay, let's try. Line segment DE is equal to blank. And the answer is, okay, one half of line segment BC. Next. How about line segment AD? Which, si uh, which side is equal to line segment AD? Okay, the answer is line segment BD. Next, line segment AE. So, which side is equal to line segment AE? Okay, so the answer is line segment CE. Next, number two. In triangle ABC, D and E are the midpoints of line segment AB and AC respectively. Complete the following statements. So here's the figure. Okay, number one. If line segment DE, we have here line segment DE, is equal to 12, then line segment AC is equal to blank. We have here line segment AC. Okay, the answer is 24. Next one, if line segment AC, we have here the side AC, is equal to 42, then what is the measure in line segment DE? The answer is, okay, 21. Next. If line segment AD, okay, we have here the side AD, is equal to 7, then what is the measure or the measurement of line segment AB? We have here line segment AB or the side AB. And the answer is, okay, very good, 14. How about this one? If line segment BC, we have here the side BC, is equal to 36, then what is the measurement of line segment BE? The answer is, okay, 18. But I think this is, uh, it should be DE. So it should be DE. Okay, next, last one. If line segment BD, we have here BD, is equal to 8, and EC is 9, then AB, or line segment AB, plus line segment BC is equal to what? Okay, the answer is 34. Next example, uh, next one, we have now in quarter 3, week 2, milk number 5. 
So in melt number 5, we're going to prove theorems on trapezoids and kites. This module was made to help you understand better the key concept on theorems on trapezoids and kites. It will serve as a guide for you to find out how to prove theorems on trapezoids and kites. So we have here the uh, parts of a trapezoid. So the first one, we have here this side and this side is what we call the base. The upper and the lower part. Next one, we have the left side and the right side. And that is what we call the legs. And we have also these angles, the four angles. And that is what we call the base angles. So the, those are the parts of a trapezoid. Okay, let's define what is a trapezoid. So a trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly isosceles trapezoid. So it is a trapezoid with congruent legs. So here is the representation of a of an isosceles trapezoid. Okay, what is a base angles trapezoid theorem? If a trapezoid is isosceles, then each pair of base angles is I is congruent. So here is the representation or the figure of a base angles trapezoid theorem. Diagonals of a trapezoid theorem. A trapezoid is isosceles if and only if its diagonals are congruent. Okay, we have here an example given isosceles, trap, uh, isosceles trapezoid A, B, C, D. Prove that line segment A, C is congruent to line segment B, D. Okay, we have the following statements and the reasons. Number one, isosceles trapezoid A, B, C, D which is given. Number two, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DCBA. And the reason is an isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid with congruent base angles. Number two, I number three rather, line segment AD is parallel to line segment BC. And the reason, a trapezoid is a quadrilateral with at least one pair of parallel sides. Number four, line segment BA is congruent to line segment CD. And the reason, an isosceles trapezoid has congruent legs. Number five, line segment BC is congruent to line segment BC by reflexive property. Number six, triangle BDC is congruent to triangle CAB by SAS or SAS postulate. And number seven, line segment AC is congruent to line segment BD by CPCTC. Next, we have the mid segment of a trapezoid. So the segment that connects the midpoints of the legs. So here is the uh, representation of the mid segment of a trapezoid. Mid segment theorem for trapezoids. The mid segment of a trapezoid is parallel to each base and its length is one half the sum of the length of the bases. So again, this is the representation of the mid-segment theorem for trapezoids.
trapezoids. Next, we have the kite. So, what is a kite? A quadrilateral that has two pairs of consecutive congruent sides, but opposite sides are not congruent. And this is the representation of a kite. Next, theorem of perpendicular diagonals of a kite. If a quadrilateral is a kite, then its diagonals are perpendicular. Okay, we have here the representation of a perpendicular diagonals of a kite. Theorem of opposite angles of a kite. If a quadrilateral is a kite, then exactly one pair of opposite angles are congruent. Okay, so as you can see, the opposite angles are congruent. If this is 70 degrees, therefore the opposite angle of that angle is also 70 degrees. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you are now ready to answer your quarter three week two. Milk number three to milk number five.